International Space Station has a new cooling system just in time for Christmas, courtesy of Santa's helpers. Two astronauts completed a dangerous and successful spacewalk 260 miles above Earth. Noel Gardner joins us live in the newsroom with all the details. Noel? Aaron, as Santa makes his way across the planet, two American astronauts are also circling Earth. Mike Hopkins and Waterbury native Rick Mistracchio giving the gift of a much needed repair to the International Space Station. It was a beautiful yet dangerous sight as the astronauts repaired a massive coolant pump. As people from all over the country are watching Mistracchio spacewalk, so is his family. Tonight we went to Waterbury to talk with him. His sister tells us Mistracchio Mistracchio is a positive role model for kids. Well, Ricky loves inspiring the kids and you know making them, making them um, aware of what's you know what's going on, and then he wants them to be inspired by it. I and this is only the second Christmas Eve spacewalk in NASA history. The other was in 1999 during a Hubble Space Telescope repair mission. And coming up tonight at 6, we'll talk with Mistracchio's family and hear more about his mission. I'm live tonight in the New Haven newsroom. Noelle Gardner, News 8. Noel, thank you very much. A company blasting in a rock quarry could be just what changes a state law. This all came to light in a News 8 investigators report. Neighbors say that blasting is damaging their homes and businesses, and local leaders aren't doing enough to help them. Chief Investigator David Iverson joins us with the latest developments. David, what did you find? Well, Aaron, uh, this is something the town of Thompson and this company have been hearing about for well over a year. Last night, that town agreed to let the company start their blasting up again, but they have to do a few more tests to show exactly what these blasts are doing to neighbors' homes and whether or not it's actually causing the damage. The law that tells these companies how big these blasts can be have not been updated for more than 40 years. That's something one state lawmaker says he sees room for improvement. It's not an isolated event. Uh, this is actually an issue that has affected people across the state. There is dozens of, of communities that have issues uh, with blasting. Now, tonight at 6, we're actually going to take you onto that blasting property to give you a closer look at some of these operations and show you how close it is to the neighbors. Aaron? All right, David, thank you very much. If you'd like to sound off about this story or anything else in our newscast, just call our Voice of the People hotline at 203-212-WTNH. Hamden police have made an arrest in a series of vehicle break-ins across town. Police arrested 20-year-old Karis Wesley of Hamden. Officers say Wesley is accused of breaking into at least four cars on Mix Avenue and Town Walk Drive. Police say several items were stolen, including gifts, tools, and personal belongings. Hamden police say all residents should take their proper precautions, especially during this time of year. Valuables should not be left inside of the motor vehicle, especially Christmas presents, electronic equipment. Uh, your vehicle should be locked at all times, kept under um, adequate lighting. Uh, those things most important. Wesley is facing charges including burglary and criminal mischief.